ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Hello, welcome to Weed and Barley. This is the place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to day six. Yes, day six of our fast. This is day six of 21. We are on the submission fast. Praise God. We are doing what God has called us to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we're just so grateful to be here serving the Lord in this capacity and being obedient unto his call. We are eating clean. This fast runs from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Praise God. And we are adhering to vegetables and fruit during this time as well as water. Hallelujah. Remember, if you you intake any meat is very little the meat should not outdo anything else on the plate praise god hallelujah so understand that as you're moving in the clean way as you are uh seeking the lord every single hour within this fast a duration within this block of time and you are meditating on the word because our job here is to consecrate unto the lord to focus on jesus christ to pray without ceasing your prayer without ceasing may be you praying communicating with God. It may be you speaking in tongues. It may be your declaration and decrees, praise God. However you decide to do it in the mighty name of Jesus, make sure you are doing it in this time. Read the word, hallelujah. Allow it to digest in you, praise God, because this word is the living bread. We shall eat, 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 hallelujah, and let us get full off this meal today in Jesus' mighty name. We are still in Luke chapter 19, praise God. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. This is the place where we uh, move into things of God, where the Holy Spirit speaks, praise God, hallelujah, and we are consecrating unto the Lord. We are about God's business, praise God. We are about doing what we're supposed to do in Christ, hallelujah, keeping our mind on God, keeping our mind on the beautiful things, the good things, the greater things. Hallelujah. Keeping our mind on life. Hallelujah. Because we know that life and life more abundantly is in Jesus Christ. Keeping our mind on the righteous one. Do you understand? Hallelujah. That's what we're here to do in Jesus' mighty name. And we do it as one. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I must tell you, some people who come on through this, uh, on this platform, praise God, and on this channel, hallelujah, many of them may not be for the Lord, but I'm telling you, hallelujah, those who follow the fast those who are going on and following the messages praise god hallelujah you'll see some interaction there praise god hallelujah just pay attention those are the ones who are consecrated hallelujah in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah they're not monitors they're not just watchers praise god what is she gonna do next hallelujah that's not them praise god hallelujah they are actually here to move in the things of god and I just welcome you right now in Jesus' mighty name, praise God. If you are that person to move into things of God, ready to surrender yourself over to the Lord, yielding to the Spirit of God, hallelujah, just come on in and go with the flow in Jesus' mighty name. We are still in chapter 19 and we are reading, praise God, hallelujah, verse 9 today. Verse 9 today, hallelujah. And the title of this message is, Son of Abraham daughter of Abraham. Hallelujah. Son or daughter of Abraham. Let me tell you something, praise God. We are sons of Abraham. We are sons and daughters of Abraham. However you want to articulate it, understand we come from a rich lineage, praise God. Hallelujah. We come from a rich lineage. This is our forefather in the mighty name of Jesus because we have accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, praise God. So we have access to the Abrahamic covenant, praise God. Hallelujah. This is so rich right here today in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that you receive it in Jesus mighty name. So let's go ahead and dive in. So we know that Zacchaeus, he wanted to get a good view of Jesus Christ and he was a chief tax collector, praise God. Hallelujah. And so what did he do? He switched positions. Hallelujah. And once he switched positions, what did he do? Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, he moved forward. He climbed the sycamore tree. Hallelujah. And he was in the right place at the right time. Praise God. Why? Because he ran ahead. He switched positions. He ran ahead. And then there was this encounter with Jesus Christ under the sycamore tree. Because Jesus then saw him, hallelujah, called him, praise God, called him forth in the mighty name of Jesus and told him to come down immediately. He did. And when he did come down, praise God, Jesus told him he had to go to his house. Hallelujah. Understand, praise God, hallelujah. When he was coming down, he said, listen, I got to go to your house today. And Zacchaeus welcomed him gladly, praise God. 
And then in that very moment, people started to grumble. We saw this, hallelujah, in verse 7. They just started to grumble. Oh, he's going over to with the sinner today, praise God. Hallelujah. He's going with the man who sins. Well, let me tell you, in 8, Zacchaeus, he begins to what? Recompense. He began to show that example of recompense. But he also confessed with his mouth. Hallelujah, that Jesus Christ was his Lord. That's how he addressed uh, Jesus Christ. He said, behold, Lord, half of my possessions I will give to the poor, praise God. He already know, hallelujah, that he's supposed to give to the poor. And we know that when you give to the poor, it's just like giving to Jesus. And then he says, and if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will give back four times as much, praise God. That's the recompense, y'all, hallelujah. In this season, the Lord has already said that many will receive recompense, praise God. And then let's go ahead to verse 9 where it says, and Jesus said to him, today salvation has come to this house because he too is a son of Abraham. We're talking about sons and daughters of Abraham today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Receive the covenant of the Lord today. Praise God. Receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you don't know who he is, get to know him by reading the Bible. Start in Matthew. Praise God. That's the New Testament. Start in Matthew. Praise God. Hallelujah. Get to know Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. As your Lord and Savior. Accept him. Believe. Hallelujah. That he was resurrected from the dead that he roamed this earth praise God he lived here as man hallelujah and he returned here praise God he had this experience of life as a man so that we would be saved he came back as man so that we would be saved praise God hallelujah I know I keep saying he came back but he experienced life as man so that we could be saved praise God hallelujah hallelujah I'm telling you because he created the earth right I mean you know he had to have that manly experience though in order to save us why because we are man praise God and the Lord had already had in Old Testament praise God with the priest they would kill animals praise God for the people as a, 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 a an atonement of sin hallelujah as an atonement of sin but Jesus Christ became the perfect sacrificial lamb for us praise God and we receive him and believe him in Jesus mighty name we're going to follow him in all of our ways because he is the perfect choice and he did well on his journey praise God and he did it for us hallelujah so the Lord is letting us know that we are sons and daughters of Abraham praise God receive it and believe it in Jesus mighty name if you go ahead and read verse 10 it says for the son of man has come to seek and to save that which was lost, praise God, hallelujah, see, Jesus came to save that which was lost, that was Zacchaeus, hallelujah, that's why he was going over to his house, he said, hallelujah, come down immediately, that means he was getting his salvation immediately, praise God, do you understand, hallelujah, he was being called to the forefront immediately, in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus was getting ready, hallelujah, to bring him into the fold immediately, praise God, why, because he is a son of Abraham, and I'm here to let you know today that you are a son or daughter of Abraham, Abraham, praise God. You have access to the covenant. Believe it and receive it in Jesus' mighty name. I'm telling you, we are the seed of Abraham. We have the promises of Abraham, praise God. Hallelujah. Let us walk in it. Let us walk in confidence knowing that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior and not one covenant has failed to the ground. Hallelujah. He has kept his promises. He will keep his promises and he will continue to move in righteousness, praise God. Hallelujah. I just pray that today that your day is blessed, that you move in the, in the things of God, that you continue to focus on Jesus Christ as you fast, that you consecrate even more. Pray more than you did yesterday. Hallelujah. If you missed some points yesterday, praise God, prayer points, meaning that you didn't get a chance to read as you normally would, go ahead and read more today, praise God. If you didn't get a chance, hallelujah, to speak in tongues yesterday, go ahead and speak in tongues more today. Hallelujah. Just go ahead and press in more. Go ahead and spend more time. Hallelujah. Go ahead and listen more in the mighty name of Jesus because the Lord is calling you for such a time as this and he has a mighty plan for your life praise God and it is a good plan hallelujah so get on your post start completing your assignment today in Jesus mighty name because the Lord has called you already he has ordered your steps already praise God and you are a son or daughter of Abraham hallelujah so get in your rightful royal place in Jesus mighty name I'm going to say that one more time Get in your rightful royal place in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Because if you realize what you have access to, the more you have access to, the extension you have access to, the height of what you have access to, praise God. Hallelujah. You will walk with your head up high, knowing that the promises of the Lord will come to pass in your life, and you will believe it and receive it in Jesus' mighty name. And no one will be able to take that promise away from you. They will not be able to steer you from that path. They will not be able to bring 
going down your way, praise God, hallelujah, and they definitely will not be able to detour you, praise God, or delay you, hallelujah, I'm telling you right now that God has a good plan for you and he continues to let us know that his word will not fall to the ground, he is so, he is solid, it is so it is solid, praise God. We're dealing with I am. Do you know? Praise God, I am. Hallelujah. Everything he is. Hallelujah. He created all things, praise God. I am. Hallelujah. The mighty one in the mighty name of Jesus, praise God. Hallelujah. We're talking about Jehovah Jireh, our provider. We're talking about Jehovah Shalom, praise God. Hallelujah. He brings the peace, do you understand? And we receive peace beyond understanding, praise God. Hallelujah. He's such a welcoming God. Hallelujah. He said, draw near to him and we'll draw near to him. He, if we draw near to him, he draw near to us, praise God. Hallelujah. So begin to draw near to the Lord today in Jesus' mighty name. Receive him. Hallelujah. This is day six. God is doing a great thing on this earth for you, for me, for us. Hallelujah. He's bringing the body of Christ closer, praise God. He's purifying this body, those weeds, hallelujah, that shouldn't be in the body where people in the body of Christ have welcomed weeds in, praise God. Those tears, they have welcomed me in, praise God, holding hand in hand with the tears praise God. But I'm telling you right now, Jesus is cleaning it up. The Holy Spirit is cleaning it up. Praise God. Hallelujah. The angels that cleaning it up. Praise God. Hallelujah. So you will be able to see clearly the tears from the wheat. You'll be able to decipher it in Jesus mighty name because God is truth and he will remain to be true from the beginning of time right now, even in the future. Hallelujah. Forevermore, eternally. He is truth. Praise God. He is not a tear. He is not a lie in Jesus mighty name. So do not be deceived by the enemy. Move forth the way God has called you to do. Hallelujah. And be blessed today in Jesus mighty name. We thank you, Lord God, for the prayer. We thank you, Lord God, for the message. We thank you, Lord God, for your presence in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for continuing to lead us in every single thing that we do in Jesus' mighty name. We love you, O oh Lord God. Hallelujah. We give you all honor, glory, and praises. Thank you for day six this morning. Prayer, O oh Father God. Hallelujah. Enlighten us on the way. Give us revelation. Give us instructions, O oh Father God. Elevate us, O oh Lord God. Increase us where we are, O oh Father God. Hallelujah. May we grow in your spirit, O oh Father God. Hallelujah. May we be taught, hallelujah, how to navigate the spiritual realm. Oh, Father God, by the Holy Spirit alone in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you for sending the angels who have charged over us, oh Father God. Thank you for having them to minister to us and help us with the ministries that you have given us, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. And thank you for unfolding the instructions right before our eyes, oh Lord God. Thank you for showing us signs, miracles, and wonders, oh Lord God. We are so grateful for your demonstrations. We're so grateful for your power. We're so grateful, hallelujah, that you continue to rest your hand on our shoulders and keep us in all of our ways. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I pray that this prayer has been a blessing to you. Hallelujah. Continue to seek the Lord. Continue to press in. Continue to consecrate unto the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. And continue to study uh, chapter 19. We're focusing on verse 9. Praise God. I did read verse 10, but we're focusing on verse 9 in the mighty name of Jesus. Meditate on it. Hallelujah. Whatever the Lord tells you. Praise God. Write it down in your journal. Meditate on it. Seek the revelation forward in Jesus' mighty name. And just listen closely to what the Lord is saying in this time. Because he's speaking. We belong to him. Let us get our orders. Hallelujah. From God himself in the mighty name of Jesus. And let's be obedient and complete those orders today. In Jesus' mighty name. I love you with the love of Christ. Peace and blessings until 6 p.m. today for communion. All right, y'all. Have a blessed day. Take it to know God. Get to know God ingredients to get to know God ingredients to get to know God.